Now, once you purchase the domain, you're going to receive an email about the domain for you to register the, um, the domain or to verify, to verify the domain. So as you can see here, it said the domain will be placed on hold if the registrant email is not verified by a certain date, which is fine. We'll have time to do that. Now, once you do that, you're going to be logging into the uh, Google domain for you to be able to find your domain you just purchased. If you did not close the uh, window, you're actually going to be here in the same page as I am right now. However, if you close it, you just log into your email account that you registered the domain and you go to domain Google domains.google.com, you'll, you'll be able to find your domain there. Now, this is where we're going to try to connect the domain that we just purchased to um, Google hosting so we can create a website. Now, if you already have a website, it's a different step for that, which is going to be fine. But if you don't have a website yet, then this, this step is for you. So what we're going to do here, we're going to click on the uh, DNS tab here. On the uh, host name, we're going to type uh, in the, uh, this is the name field. We're going to type www into the that's already there and the type we're going to type, we're going to select CNAME. Uh, TTL, we'll just leave it as the default. And on the data field here, we're going to add GS, GHS, at Google posted. Com. as simple as this is okay and then we're going to save now that you add the cnm record to your dns settings now you can connect your google domain to your google site you have to do this first before you can connect your google domain to your google site if you already have a site, great. The uh, best way you're going to, to do if you already have a site, you're going to, to your site, you're going to, to click on the publish button on the top right corner. Since I don't have a site yet, I cannot show you here on how to do this. Or I can create a site quickly to show you how to do this. Okay, so to do this, let me create a site quickly. I'm going to site.google.com and make sure I am on the email that I want to create the site. So I can go ahead and create a blank site and I can say the site is another keto diet site okay. so that will be the site if I want here I can you know put some drop here which is fine you know once that's good I can say the name of my site is good keto diet okay this is my, my name of the site so I said publish Once I publish to the web here, it asked me if I want to do a custom, uh, custom domain or the web address. I can say good keto diet. So it's already taking, so I can put 
23 here as you can see this is going to be the site of the address site that google could um keto that okay so there's no problem with that at all so i go ahead and publish that once that publish i can come here and see the publish um site so i can see here view publish So this is going to be the uh, published site. Let me see if it's. This is going to be the published site. As you can see, it's a blank site. There's nothing in there. So I close that. Now, for me to connect my domain into that brand new Google site that I created. So what I'm going to do, that is also for you. If you already have a site that created on Google, and now you just purchase a Google site. This is step. This step is for you. So what I'm going to do here, I am going to go to the uh, publish here at the top right hand corner, and I am going to go here the publish settings. Um, uh, the web address section here, I am going to set connect to a domain that I already have uh, custom domain. So it's going to be custom domain here. So I say manage that and that dropped me here. So I will say start the setup. Select a domain from Google, which is a domain that you can purchase right now to do that. Or you can say use a third party domain or buy a domain. So since I'm already have a domain from Google, then I'm going to get that. I'm going to click on that one. And it's a connect to the site to the domain register with Google domain. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. Click next. Now, what is my Google domain? As you, as you can see, because I'm logging not only with the email that I purchased the domain, Google already know the domain that I purchased from it, which is goodketodiet.com it's already placed it there for me which is a good thing i don't have to do anything here um and then said select that so i can go ahead and done hmm. now my domain already connected to google the only thing i have to do is just here click Add. Actually, that's already add already, so I need to cancel that. So this is good. And once that um, connected, now if I go to um, www.goodketodiet.com, I am going to see the my Google site. Okay, so that is how this is done. And as simple as it is, it can take uh, maybe 24 hours to 48 hours for the DNS to um, uh, propagate before you can see the good site uh, connect to your uh, domain that you just purchased. Okay. So you can basically test that out. If we go to good keto diet it might not work because it's just brand new created it did the dns take time to propagate to all the server within the internet as you can see it's not there yet but if you give it some time you will be able to see that it's every time that you put your google your uh, domain out your website will be showing up okay that's how you get it done